Hi, I'm Sam from Sheridan Computers and I want to do a quick video on how to install FreeNAS. I'm going to be installing it on bare metal on a Dell PowerEdge um, R210 um, version 2. Um, if you'd like to hire us, please head over to our website at sheridan.co.uk, fill out the contact form and we'll get back to you. So, let's get started. So as I mentioned, I'm installing this on a Dell PowerEdge R210. Um, just lift the lid off quickly. Uh, these are an ideal system because um, you, it's got spaces for two USB drives internally. So I've gone for the um, 64 gig sand disks and it, because it takes two of them, I can mirror them during the install. Um, we've got two one terabyte hard drives. Uh, good enough for demo purposes. Um, so let's put this back together and then we'll um, go and install it back in the rack and I'll be installing it via um, iDRAC so I don't have to set up monitors and stuff. I'm going to plug this in, I'll be back in two seconds. So we've got the server installed in the rack, um, so let's... If you need to download FreeNAS, you can download it from freenas.org. Um, just go to the homepage, download. Um, you can fill this out, just skip it. And the version I'm using is the pre-release version, 11.3. So it does say testers only. Um, I'm not using this in a production environment, I'm just using it to demo the installation. So I went ahead and downloaded that one. So let me switch over and we'll pull the uh, Dell system up. Let's go ahead and log into the iDRAC. The system's switched off, so let's power it on. So I'm going to set the boot mode to BIOS and boot off our CD-ROM. Let's press enter that stage. We're not installing via serial console, so... So we want to do an install. So as I mentioned, I have two one terabyte hard drives installed. Um, and the two USB sticks which we're going to install onto. And I want to install onto both of them, so if you know one of the uh, flash drive dies we can just rebuild that. All data will be wiped from the flash drives, that's fine. Password in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because I'm being original. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll boot via BIOS.
Okay, so we have FreeNAS installed. It's installed on both the flash drives. You'll notice during the install that it copied the boot code to um, both of the drives. So if one does die, it's no problem to simply boot off the other one. So let's go ahead and reboot. So now we can continue normal boot. So FreeNAS is installed and we have our IP address. So if we um, navigate over to 10.1.10.108, we'll be able to log into FreeNAS. So let's do that. So now let's go and log in with root. And the password is set, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And FreeNAS is loaded, so as you can see, um, in this one we need to create the pool. So we're going to pools. We've currently got no storage pools. Let's go and create one. Let's create a new pool. I want to use both my internal drives, ADA0 and ADA1 in this case. Move them across. Give my pool a name. Let's call it tank. Let's go ahead and create the pool. All data on the disk will be erased. And we have our pools created. And that is FreeNAS fully installed. Um, so that was just a basic introduction in how to install FreeNAS. Um, it was a bit more awkward that way because I did it over iDRAC as opposed to having a system set up in front of me and having to worry about piping monitors through and everything. But I hope this helps. Um, let's say, if you do want to hire us, head across to our website at sheridan.co.uk, fill out the contact form, leave some details on what you're after, and we will get back to you. 